Hello, welcome back. In today's video you will see how you can make Bombay Sapphire Distillery in Rhino and Grasshopper. Without further ado let's start to the tutorial. The first goal is to make this base. It's like zigzag tain. I start with a circle. Using a component called divide curve I can divide the circle into equally spaced points. Next, separate the consecutive list into different lists. By using a component called Dispatch can separate the list into two target lists. Next, move one of the lists toward the center of the circle. This can be done easily by scaling the these point from the center of the circle. After modification, we can combine back to make one single list. A component called Wave can do this job. We don't need to touch the pattern because by default Dispatch and Wave have the same pattern. We can see direction of lists by connecting Polyline node. Next, create vertical line on these points. Reference this curve and divide it into equal number of point as in the previous one. Creating lines start from each point and perpendicular direction to the curve. Now the direction is vertical what we need is normal direction to the curve. So create a plane to the center of it by using is planar component. If the curve is planar we get plane on the center of the curve. On this plane we can extract z direction by using deconstructing plane components and use it for our line directions. Now create a blend curve between these two set of curves. Here the direction of the curve is reversed so I can use flip curve component to fix this. Now the curve is crossing over to fix that we can shift and reverse the list. You can control the blending factors by factor A and B. Join the original line with the blend curves. Graft and simplify all of them this will gives us similar data structure. When we merge them we can get exactly three items in each branch. This making easy the joining curve process. Next is to make the horizontal grid from these curves. Divide and make power line out of the, the points. Add flip matrix this will change the list direction.
extract each vertex and edge by exploding it. Some vertices are duplicated so I can remove them by a component called Cull Duplicates. Now we can move each vertex to the direction of each corresponding segments. Use unit vector to convert each segment into vector. Unit vector gives a vector direction with a magnitude of 1. This means all vectors that we get from the segments have equal magnitude. To increase or decrease the magnitude the vectors add multiplication. To change direction add negative node or add expression minus x. To move each point on other side of the segment we do that by using shift list. Now we can make vertical grids between each sets of points. Next make data tree that have three curves in one branch. We can follow the same process as the previous one by merging these three curves. Now we have three curves in each branch so we can create loft between them. To speed up the computation process use MeshLoft from Chrome Odorous plugin. We build the curve with degree of 1 to convert the interpolate curve into polylon. Give thickness to the mesh by using offset mesh component from Pufferfish. Next merge the two curves that we created before and create LOF. To match list structure shift list with negative 1 as index, match tree structure by graft and simplifying. Next make pipe from the segments. Thank you. 
the pipes are cross over the vertical frame, we can extract the ISO curves from from lofted surface and make the pipes from it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.